Welcome to day three of camping in Cornwall. I won't put you on it, don't worry. Um, pissed it down last night. Um, the windbreakers were down. Um, but the van survived. We was dry. We slept dry. Even with a couple of nicks in the uh, pop top, didn't leak through or anything. So we woke up this morning and we was a bit like, well, what are we going to do today? But, um, so we don't know. Uh, we're at a site where it's got no electric, no toilets, no showers, so we're going to have to use the vans. So, it'll be my first time pooping in the van. Um, so April's going to have to go for a walk, and then I'll have to go for a walk when she's doing her business. But right now we've just got up, we're having a coffee, we're uh, making some breakfast, April's making us some sausage and scrambled eggs, apple and pork sausages, they're best. So um, yeah, miserable day, but um, I'm sure we'll find something to do. We're going to pop into St Ives today, which we love, don't we? And um, get a pasty or some seafood or something. And then um, travel on up the coast to our next one. So, um, fill you in on the way. Right, we're um, leaving campsite number two, CL number two, whatever. And uh, welcome to day number three of the Cornwall coast, hey babe? Just trying to find it. Um, we got it all packed up. Somebody turned up uh, this morning, so we had all of this field to ourselves uh, until this morning, and they turned up. But I had a chat with them. Seemed quite ni nice people. Told us where the highest COVID rates are and all that. Um, but yeah, the van's all packed up, ready to go now. We've uh, both used the facilities on board this morning, which brilliant. Worked fine. Uh, we had our breakfast, all that kind of stuff. Um, got changed, had a wash because there's no shower facilities here, but there is at the next campsite. So, anyway, it looks like it's about to piss down, so we'll carry on later. Right then, still day three. Um, had a bit of a mooch today, really. Uh, left that campsite. We went to uh, went to drive down the coast. I wanted to drive all the way around the coast, but um, it turns out it's not as simple as that. Uh, we ended up going down these tiny little rows of branches rubbing against each side of the van and that. Uh, it was fun. April was scared to death, but it was fun. Um, so that was good. Um, we got to the CL. Uh, it's dead nice. 20 quid a night. Um, we've got electrics, we've got showers, all that kind of stuff. Uh, weather's been miserable all day, so we're not, we've not really done much, to be honest. But this is where we are now. I can't even be bothered getting out to... Um, to show you around really we're right next to the showers there so i'm quite happy with that um so yeah we're after a long 
long day. Uh, it's been miserable. We're just gonna chill out tonight. We just had a pizza from this uh, little stone baked pizza place. That was nice. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna chill out tonight. We're gonna have a couple of glasses of wine. Um, watch a film or something like that or just stick some family guy on or have a game of cards whatever we want to do uh, and then tomorrow we've um because we, we was going to go to the pub but because we couldn't book in anywhere because of covid and all that uh we couldn't get in anywhere so we couldn't have a walk to go to the nearest pub or anything like that and kind of glad we didn't the weather's miserable anyway uh so tomorrow we've booked in at the jamaica inn um heard a lot about it it's supposed to be good there's a little museum there uh we booked in for our dinner there our lunch um so we'll have our lunch there and uh the next campsite is not too far away from that so we can uh i think i've got tomato sauce on my chin so uh yeah we can uh we're going to have our lunch get to the next one last night's uh, tomorrow night's the last night uh, a couple of things about the van we've, we've been there we've, we've enjoyed the van the van's been good it's been it's been spot on really a couple of things here and there but um we've got an alternative layout uh compared to the standard vw t5s whatever um because we've got a toilet in it i'll just show you the layout so i'm sat in a passenger seat that's the uh driver's seat so they both swivel all the way around and then they make up a bed on each side so that's like you get a cushion on there that's basically your bed and this one does the same so you've got two single beds and then you've got a toilet there that little uh, wooden thing flips up and the toilet spins and then you've got a uh, your sink and your cooker and your grill and your fridge um so it's quite good it's kind of separates the living area from the kitchen and the toilet and whatever we've got a little curtain that we put up as well at the back so when you are on the toilet it's private this makes it a little bit more private so you're not shitting in your living room kind of thing but um what we were saying is it, it it's kind of a lot of effort got got the wife ringing i'll uh i'll pause it 